Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Klaus Schwab was born in Germany in 1938. Little information is available as to his upbringing, that is, the degree to which he was educated to believe in doctrine, but whatever he was taught in his youth, he is, today, one of the most ardent believers in, and proponents of, totalitarian rule. The term Nazi refers to national socialistish or national socialism, and its overall concept was fascism, a concept that encompassed a corporatist economic system, socialist political system, and totalitarian rule. Whilst this description may seem rather convoluted, the concept was believed by Wall Street and much of the US government in the 1930s, as the way of the future. So much so, that they provided considerable financial and logistical support for Nazi Germany during the 1930s, and even into the 1940s. Following the war, only a handful of Germans were prosecuted for war crimes at the Nuremberg trials. Countless others were taken on board by both US industry and the government following the war, to educate American industry in German methodology. For many years following the war, Nazi concepts remained under the radar, but in recent years, they've become a major force within not only the US, but also US ally states. Canada, Australia, the UK, and, most notably, the EU. The basic concepts are perennial in their attraction to those who seek to dominate. 1. Create an uber class of those who are highly positioned in both industry and politics. 2. Cripple the middle class economically, so that they no longer have the power to make their own life decisions. 3. Offer dramatically increased dependency on the state as a relief from the economic hardship created by the state. 4. Remove freedoms, and trade for the promise of largesse from the state. 5. Institute a police state and totalitarian rule, to ensure that the new paradigm will be lasting. 6. Once controls are fully implemented and the populace has become dependent on the new system, begin to remove the promised entitlements. The idea behind this final bullet point is that, once the population is thoroughly dependent upon the state, they will have lost the power to object, or rebel, if entitlements are removed. They are then fully dominated. Of course, if any individual were to read the menu, he would immediately say, no way, and reject the program outright. Therefore, if such an oppressive regime were to be imposed upon a people, it would need to be sold to them as a benefit, not as virtual enslavement. A was proud of saying, make the lie big. Keep it simple. Keep saying it, and eventually, they will believe it. Quite so. Fortunately, Mr. Hitler and his friends were removed from the firmament before the final stages of the program could be implemented. But today, the jurisdictions listed above are now solidly in the completion stage of bullet point number two, and have begun to provide the offer of bullet point number three. The promised solution to the populace. And so, we return to our poster boy for today's Klaus Schwab. His fame has been earned through his creation and chairmanship of the World Economic Forum, WEF. Over the last half century, the WEF has grown in influence to become one of the foremost leaders in the proposition of a new world order. As with Mr. Hitler, in order to sell totalitarianism 201 to the people of the countries in question, the technique once again is to make the lie big. Professor Schwab's video offers an idyllic state in which people can rid themselves of all the personal debt, the political upheaval, and the social unrest, that is now expanding so rapidly. The proposed solution is that you sign over your right to own possessions on a permanent basis, and trade for a life in which there is minimal responsibility. The world government will provide you with a basic income. You will rent whatever you need, a residence, a vehicle, appliances, even your clothing. Most importantly, as can be seen from the countenance of the citizen in this image, you'll be happy. There will be no more wars. 
a handful of countries will rule the world cooperatively. There will be no waiting for medical attention. There will be a global price on carbon emissions. This states that those who use fossil fuels, everyone, will be taxed for its use, although no explanation is given as to how this keeps the world from ending in 12 years due to emissions, as globalists claim. The government will have full control of every aspect of your life, plus the task of removing any obstacles to your happiness. Sounds wonderful. Where do I sign up? But if we stop and think for a moment, we might wish to ask a few questions. For one thing, you give up all rights at the beginning of the deal. You will have lost all your possessions and all your freedoms. You will be 100% dependent upon the state. Their part of the deal is to be delivered on the back end. But once you're totally dependent and can no longer extricate yourself from the deal, there's nothing to stop them from removing the punch bowl. Oh oh. All the things that were promised may be withdrawn one at a time, until you're both subservient and impoverished. You will lack the ability to rebel, or even to complain. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. For generations, political leaders have offered empty promises that were never kept. Conservative and liberal political leaders alike have consistently made a grand show of disagreeing with each other on what form of governance might serve the people best. Yet, somehow, the result, no matter which group theoretically holds the reins of power at any given time, has always been a larger, more powerful government, and a populace that was increasingly robbed of its freedoms, social, political, and economic. We are now at the very turning point, at which much of the former free world is being tempted to make the leap into the brave new world. All the social, political and economic problems that presently exist, have been caused by political leaders. They are now asking you to trust them to end those problems. The promise is a simple one. You loan nothing. And you'll be happy. But, you're not required to sign up. All you need do is, sit still, and accept the transformation to totalitarianism as it plays out. Nothing could be simpler. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable, and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.